Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been so long since I have uploaded. It has been a little bit, but my daughter is back in school. So now mama can get back onto a routine and create some more videos and upload more regularly. So I'm excited to be back. And I figured what better way to, you know, get back into the routine of things than with a good old Dollar Tree haul. I've got so much stuff I'm excited to share in front of me. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. But now let's hop right on into the haul. I'll start with the stuff that is not like seasonal stuff. I needed a new notebook. So I found this notebook. I didn't see a ton of new notebooks. And I don't even know if this notebook's new. But I really thought it was pretty. It looks like this. It is pastel y, so it's more like spring and summery. But I just, I don't care for a notebook. I think it's a really pretty notebook. It just has the lined uh, paper inside. I like these kind of notebooks a lot because I like to rip the pages out when I'm done with whatever I wrote down on that piece of paper. Don't mind my hair today. It's quite a mess. It needs to be refreshed, but I'm growing my hair out, which I never do. Like this is probably the longest my hair usually gets. And then I chop it to like right here or shorter. So I'm gonna see how long I can grow it out. We'll see. The next thing I picked up are these antibacterial moist wipes. It says for hands and face, kills germs, moisturizes, fresh scent, vitamin E and aloe. It has 20 in there. And these were right at the front when I was checking out. So I just grabbed them because I thought these would be good to keep in my car. Another thing I picked up are some more socks because my husband loves these pizza socks. So when I saw that they had them in a kid size, they had them in a couple of different kid sizes. This is one a little bit bigger than the other. I picked them up in the kids because my nephews love um, pizza. So as soon as I saw them, I figured I would grab them for them, put them off to the side and start my Christmas gift stash box, I think is what I'm gonna say. I, 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 my plan is to get all my Christmas shopping done before the 1st of December. That's my goal. That's the plan. We'll see if it actually happens. I want to enjoy all of December if I can and pretend like I'm living in a Hallmark movie and do all the Christmassy things that you can do in Florida. And yeah, so I really want to try and get all my Christmas present or Christmas shopping done before December even starts, which sounds crazy and I've never been able to do that before, but Maybe I'll be able to do it this year. So fingers crossed. But let the Christmas gift buying start with these. I also picked up some more sandwich bags. I haven't really showed these in a long time, but I do still use the Dollar Tree sandwich bags. Um, I got the snack kind and the um, gallon, not the gallon. What is this one called? Quart, that's it. Quart size ones. I really like those a lot. And then I also got another pack of these um, Reynolds pop-up foil sheets. These things are so great. So I went ahead and grabbed some more of those because it makes it super easy. You know, that's it. Okay, moving on. I got so much fall and Halloween stuff. I mean, it's not so much, but it feels like a lot. Um, so let's start with the fall stuff. I picked up this little owl. It's an ornament, but it's got this little, you know, tiny string. So you can, t um, it's called cut that off super easy I thought he was cute I'm trying to incorporate some green into my fall decor this year so I got it with the green hat but I think they also had one with the orange hat I just thought it would be cute to use maybe in a three-tiered tray or in a kids little decor area what, is, what am I saying like in a kids room or like playroom or something but I just thought I would probably use it in my three-tiered tray for fall so yeah, I think he's cute. Another thing I got to use and sprinkle into my three tier tray are these acorn decorations. I think there's, what does it say, 12 that's in there. And I just thought these would be, you know, again, another like fall looking thing to throw into either like a, as a vase filler or a three tier tray to sprinkle in, anything like that. I thought these were cute. I also picked up some of these white pumpkins with the clips on them. They also had them in orange and I don't know if there were any other colors. The clip is not like a traditional alligator clip or whatever they're called. It's kind of littler, but I think it's going to work just fine. I have a DIY in my head to use. The only thing I don't like about it is if you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there's like a little bit of uh, like a yellowy, it's almost, it's almost like a highlighter cut on it, but it's on all of them. I looked at so many of the packs 
and it's I mean it's not enough to make me not want to get it but obviously because I got it um, but it is weird that it has just like this speck of like a bright yellow on there but I think this will be perfect for the DIY I have in mind so hopefully it works out I'll be sharing that with you guys as soon as I do it I just haven't had a chance to actually like put it all together yet. I also picked up these burlap leaves. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I really liked them a lot and I like the size of them. I got them in this color and then I also got them in this green color since again, I'm trying to incorporate some more green into my fall decor. I think that there's a lot of things that you could do with these. If you have any suggestions or ideas of what I should do with these, let me know in the comments below. Um, but they also have these, I think, in an orange as well. This next thing, I legitimately went to three or four different Dollar Tree stores, and I didn't find it until the last one. So if you were looking for these, keep hunting. Uh, but they are these little galvanized-looking words. They, they call them metal words, and this is what the packaging looks like. And it has thankful, welcome, and harvest. This is what they look like out of the package. I think these are so awesome. I cannot believe Dollar Tree has these. You can use these with so many different DIYs that you wanna do and not even have to use them for just fall, obviously, maybe the harvest one, but like the welcome and what is the other one? Thankful, you could use anytime. So I think that these are good to have on hand. I got a few packs of them so that I could use them for whatever I want. Don't have an idea yet, although I've seen some really cute DIYs using these. So I'm excited to put these to use soon. Of course I had to pick up some pumpkins because, you know, I just like cannot resist even though I don't need any more pumpkins in my life. I picked up this pumpkin because I really love it with the gold mixed into it. I think it's so pretty. I like the little metal leaf on it. This isn't a new pumpkin. I've seen these at Dollar Tree's for a couple years, but I don't remember if they always had it with the orange and gold. So when I saw it with the orange and gold, I knew I wanted to go ahead and grab it. This next pumpkin, I debated on getting. I'm not in love with it, but I do think it's still pretty. I got this one with the, what is it, orange glitter, and it's kind of a yellowy, like the actual pumpkin is kind of yellowy with some orange in the sides and some cream to it. So I think they had this in another um, with other colored glitter, but now I can't remember and I forgot to take a picture. But I do think this is a pretty pumpkin and it's a little bit smaller than that one. So I think they look kind of cute paired together and maybe add another little pumpkin in and group them together. I also picked up these bows. They um, look like they're burlap, but they're not. There's like plastic on the back of it. It's very kind of odd. I don't know exactly how I feel about these. Like I kind of love them, but I kind of don't. <laughs> I don't know. But I still got them because they think that I'll, they think they'd be cute on a little wreath or a grapevine wreath, some kind of wreath. Maybe some other things I could do with it, but you know, it was only a dollar and I'm sure I will figure out a way to use them. They also had other ones that were kind of like this, just different colors or a different pattern, but this is the one I liked the most. I also couldn't resist and had to get some fall signs. So I got this one that says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. I think this sign is so cute. I love the little saying on it. It's got you know, like the little hanging thing, like they all usually do. Um, but I just thought this was just so cute. I couldn't pass it up. And the other sign I picked up is this one that says gather together. I like the like whitewashed looking um, wood behind it. And then the gather together is a little bit sparkly because I love my glitter. And I just thought this was a really pretty one. I think that I'll probably do something to frame this out a little bit more. I don't know, I don't have my exact idea yet, but I knew I wanted to go ahead and grab this one because I thought it was really pretty. Now all the rest of the stuff is Halloween stuff. I walked into Dollar Tree and I saw these glasses. Now I've seen these glasses at Home Goods and a couple other places, not this year, but last year, but like a more expensive version of them, which I still want. But when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I don't think that they've had them for enough talking. It's this, oh my gosh, I thought that was thunder. It's just a plane. It has the little hand or the, the what is this called? Like a skeleton hand wrapped around the glass. And I thought this was so cute. Isn't this new? I don't remember seeing it. I've seen like the other 
skull ones that they have and stuff, but I do not remember them having one with the hand wrapped around it. Ugh, I almost died. I was like, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I still want the expensive version of it too, but for a buck, I'll take this. They also had it in other colors as well. I think they had a purple and an orange with just the clear, um, you know, glass. Not glass, it's glass. I thought that this was so cool. They also had it in the wine glass form. Ugh, so cute. At the bottom, it also has, it looks like a little spider web down there. I just think these are so cool looking. I'm so glad that they have these. And they had this one in other colors as well too, like the purple and the orange. Another thing that was new that I don't remember seeing it last year i mean they might have had something like it but i think this one looks really good and it's just this says this book of spells and this the bat is glittery but the rest of it is not and then the side has like this glitter um little design and obviously it's empty but i thought this would be so cute to just sit out on a coffee table or a little table somewhere they also had some other ones that were some different sizes and said different sayings but this one was my favorite oh they also had sugar skull boxes i'll insert the picture of them i didn't get any because i love sugar schools but i don't i didn't really know what to do with that box like i can already have a vision of this box but I wasn't sure what to do with the sugar skull boxes, but they are there and they have them in three sizes and they were really cute. I also picked up these little mini pumpkins. I love these so much. They're like, what is this? It's like a styrofoam kind of thing. They come in a bag like this that have four of them in there and I'm just loving these so much. The next thing I picked up was kind of a fail because when I took them out of the package, they're like not in very good shape, especially one of them, but there's these little witch hat picks. And I thought they were so cute to be able to use for different DIYs or if you you know want to do a little DIY with your kid, or you can use them as decoration, like a dessert area or a cocktail area, not cocktail area, like hors d'oeuvres and appetizers. That was the word I was looking for. But this one is all messed up. I can glue it so it'll be fine, but these are kind of, there's hot glue strands all over them. So these definitely are not Dollar Tree's best quality items, but I still think they're cute and I'll figure out a way to use them. Especially really cute if you're gonna do any DIYs and like crafts with your kids. I picked up these paper plates because I thought these were cute. I think my daughter will like these paper plates. So picked up some of these. I'm not in love with any of the fall paper plates. I think they're the same designs as last year. I was hoping that maybe they would get some more out this year, but I haven't seen any yet. So I haven't picked up any more of the fall ones or the fall napkins, but I did like these for Halloween. I forgot to grab some napkins though, but I would like a grown up paper plate version a Halloween, a cool one, and then like the kid kind of one, you know, but I didn't see like a cool grown up one yet. And what does grown up even mean? Like just like a more sophisticated Halloween? I don't know. And then the last thing I picked up is this Hall happy Halloween letter thing. I don't know what you actually call this. Oh, she was just taking this out of the box when I saw it, but I have like the Merry Christmas ones. And I just love these that they do and the, the font with the glitter. I love them so much. And I like this, this like creepy writing. I love that it's in black. So, so happy that they have this. Oh, I just realized that like the E is up higher kind of i don't know if i love that kind of looks a little off but no it, it works it works i think that's cute i'm happy with it regardless it was only a dollar and it'll definitely get used in my home so that is it for today's dollar tree haul i hope you guys enjoyed checking out the things that i picked up don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would love for you to subscribe and before you leave my question for you is this when are you starting to decorate for fall? I feel like it's time for me to start decorating because I see all these beautiful pictures on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I want my house to feel like fall even though it's 100 freaking degrees here in Orlando, but I need to know when you guys are beginning. Are you waiting until September? Are you waiting until October? Are you waiting until the middle of September? Are you doing it the first week of September? Are you doing it the end of September? Are you doing it? Are you already decorated? Are you doing it in August? When are you guys decorating? Let me know so I can feel better about wanting to start decorating right now, maybe? <laughs> also, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a decorate with me for fall. I suck <laughs> at doing decorate with me's because 
I start decorating usually on like a whim and I don't have a camera set up and I just get in the zone and just start going. But if you guys really wanna see it decorate with me, let me know and I will make a conscious effort to turn the camera on when I'm actually decorating. But don't mind if I look like crap, because I usually do it makeup free in some like busted PJs and <laughs> late at night but I will try and make it happen if you guys are interested or if you'd rather just see it like once it all has come together, that's fine too because that's what I normally do um, when I show my decorations. But either way, I wanna do what you guys wanna see, so let me know in the comments below, but definitely let me know when you start decorating so I can feel better about when I start decorating. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.